the Houston Texans are not a good football team this year. Uh, Matt Schaub was booed mercilessly, merc mercilessly mm -hmm. as he uh, injured his knee. I believe it was his shin. He was grabbing his shin. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he is now out for Sunday's game against Kansas City. TJ Yates, who started the postseason last year, looked okay in a Texans uniform. They are not going with TJ Yates. They are going with an undrafted man out of Houston, as a matter of fact, University of Houston, mm -hmm. Case Keenum. Now, Case Keenum's He's numbers. He's through numbers of Houston, right? I remember that name now. Here are the numbers. <clears throat> NCAA leader in total yards, over 20,000. Passing yards, over 19,000. Passing touchdowns, 155. Total touchdowns, this is college, of course. 178 <laughs> touchdowns. 178 total touchdowns. He put up laughable numbers, eye-rolling numbers where it's like, God, this guy is good. So he's finally getting a chance. Mm -hmm. We talked about undersized quarterbacks. Russell Wilson is right. certainly undersized. Keenum is undersized. He's six foot one. You know who I would compare Keenum to just off the top no. of my head? Is the kid from Hawaii who set all kinds of touchdown records there. And That's who I was thinking on my drive in. I can't remember his Colt name. Colt McCoy. Not Colt McCoy. Um, uh, Colt Brennan. Yeah. Colt Brennan. Yeah, that's, that's who I was thinking of, like too. for 200 touchdowns at Hawaii, too, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. He's one of those guys. But I don't know. I'm rooting for the kid. No, I'm totally rooting yeah. for him, too. But he's going against the Chiefs, who put up 10.8 points per game. Yeah. Allow 10.8 points per game. So uh, here's my question to you. Should they have started TJ Yates, or do you go with Keenum just to try and... TJ Yates. Try and, TJ yeah? Yates, TJ Yates. For Why? this game, at least. I mean, if you can have the plan. I mean, what, do they have two wins this season so far? The Texans? The Texans. I believe so. Um, yeah. The... the like, not saying you scrap the season so early, but maybe you can just make a salvageable season. But if you plan is to go for the kid, give him a chance. So don't throw him in there in the fire against the best defense in the league so far. Um, give him, if you're planning towards it, give him more practice time. Have him sit behind TJ Yates and watch exactly what's happening. Like, give him at least one week. Well, give clearly him. he has. He's been with the team since, like, 2010. He was yeah. undrafted in 2010, and the Texans signed him to the practice squad. Yeah. So, I mean, I, he's I clearly feel like he's been – that's all he's been doing is yeah. learning. I feel like it's different when, when he's, on, he's on the squad, but he knows he's going to get the nod. Give him some time when he knows he's going to get the nod to get his mind right, to get his, his – Runnings with the starting team, right? I don't know how much they've done in practice. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm I, guessing. I, but, dis I disagree. But give him, give him one more week, because right now you're setting him up for failure, man. And I don't. At this point, do you have anything to lose if you're the Houston Texans? Do you have anything to lose? Yeah. You're not going to uh, make the playoffs. Keenan's right leg. No, come on, man. Okay. The Houston Texans have one of the best rushing attacks in the league, so they're going to be fine as long as they run the ball effectively. Now, out of anything, it's going to show a lot about Keenum. Can he make those throws? Can he make those strong throws and play action when there are seven guys in the box and Eric Berry's the lone safety in the back? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and maybe they're playing, I don't know, too deep, the Chiefs are. That's going to show me a lot about Case Keenum. How can he deal with pressure? And can the yeah. Texans' offensive line give him, give him a little exactly. bit of time to make give those throws? Give him a chance, but then I give him a chance that if all these questions are unanswered, I'm just going to toss them in the fire, man. They're not, like, look. At this point, I, I look, I agree with Gary Kubiak. You have absolutely nothing to lose at this point out of anything. You know what happened when they brought up Yasiel Puig? Granted, Keenum is not the sort of prospect that Puig mm -hmm. is. It energized the team. Out of anything, Puig is the reason that they're going to the mm -hmm. playoffs and they're in the NLCS right now. Why not? Roll the dice. If Keenum plays really, really well, you know who looks like a genius? Gary Kubiak. Yeah, but he looks like more of a genius if he gives him a chance. Like, it's not strictly He just, is giving him a chance. It's not just Keenum's, like, uh, it's not just his, his uh, I guess, his, his success to go for. Like, you have to, someone has to give you some help. It's NFL, dude. You're a quarterback. It's not just a single, you know, not just a one-man show. There's sure. a lot that affects your success. And I think they should give him a better opportunity for it. Maybe they have. Maybe they've, maybe they've been planning this for a minute. Maybe they've been planning it since before, uh, um, before Shop got hurt. I don't know. I don't think so. No, they probably but um, give him a but little, out of anything, him a little time. Out of anything, last week's game where the Texans were blown out, TJ Yates also threw a pick six. Yeah. So it just kind of shows you, there's not much going on in Houston. Roll the dice. I complete. Excuse me. I completely agree with Gary Kubiak. By the way, Kansas City. You know, you want to take a guess at how many sacks they have right now on the season? Yeah. Take a yeah. random guess. We're six, six, six weeks in. It's about to be... Six weeks in. I'm going to have a horrible number. 35. 30. You're really? close. 30 sacks. <laughs> Incredible.